And boom, I started recording. I have no idea what I'm going to... That was loud. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing today. I'm coming into this with zero plans. This is literally just going to be one of those videos where I just exist. That's what we're getting today. Hopefully y'all are okay with that. Um, I guess that's my intro. Right away, as you can see, a quick island update. Um, I've moved Teddy's house onto the beach, and as you can see, kind of a perfect place for Teddy to currently reside in. As you can see, Teddy is my neighbor, and he's also Wolfgang's neighbor, so that's fun. He's right in between the two of us. Uh, good to know. And speaking of Wolfgang, here he is. Hi, babe. How you doing? Always a pleasure to see ya. Are you a week's half over or a week's half left sort of wolf? I'm not a wolf. Are you even a wolf? Oh my god. <laughs> Did they update the dialogue again? I've never seen that before. Okay, I guess continuing with the island update, I forgot to do this in my last video. As you can see, I worked on this area right next to um, Whitney and Melba's house. This is what I did in the last landscaping video. And I kind of added like a little kind of pathway sort of situation up here. Um, I used these lovely grass codes by C, who I've talked about before. Hello, Whitney, how you doing? Girl, <laughs> thank you, Whitney, for disrupting me for no reason. But yeah, I kind of just did this. This little thing using C's grass pads. Um, I'll leave a link to their Instagram where you can find the codes down below. It kind of just continues up to here. I moved Margie's house. It's right behind April Sisters. And then we have the rest of the path that kind of just leads up to here. I don't know what I want to do over here yet. So we're not going to focus on that at all. What I do want to focus on today, I, I don't know. Like I said, we'll figure it out as we go. This is kind of what I'm doing now. <laughs> I did that in my last landscaping video. I, yeah, I, I never showed this off too. I planned at all these trees over here in front of town hall kind of created this little thing right behind melba's house uh very cute very fun the hibiscus bushes are starting to grow that's cute i'm very happy i love the hibiscus bushes yeah i kind of created this little area over here by town hall made like a little fake building kind of thing i like to think of it as like kind of maybe where isabel and tom nook go when they want to take a break maybe isabel gets her one hour of sleep in here as well who knows we'll see and this little vending machine area kind of thing i don't know yeah that's kind of all i done uh anything else i kind of like zhuzhed up the entrance once again i added a few more things here and there nothing too crazy i kind of want to work on this little beach area kind of here i want to move all these coconut trees and such also we have this area over here behind sprocket's house because now that teddy's no longer living here we have a little empty space over here that we can work on as well what do i even want to do today i i don't know where is everybody we saw wolfgang and whitney where's everybody else is there anything else i need to share with y'all sprocket's been in his house all day um i don't know what's up with that no that's a lie he was out and about in the morning i am a liar hi buddy what are you doing interesting choice of stuff in his house um hi <laughs> Oh God, sometimes when you're put on the spot and you have to give them a greeting or a catchphrase, you panic and um, you don't think. <laughs> oh God, hi Sprocket, how you doing? Put a ton of effort into this room. I'm really proud of it, boop, you did. I was pouring sweat when I was done. I bet you can still smell. How are you sweating? Don't you mean oil? I think he means oil. This little guy, he's here to help me inspire. He's, why can I not read? This little... <laughs> This little guy, he's here to help inspire me to swim more. He's a sea bass. If you fall in the water, you'd probably explode. I have one day if I work hard enough, I might even be able to swim without floaties. Boop. Bestie, please don't go in the water. Unless you're waterproof, that'd be pretty cool. We're off to a weird start on this video, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, But real quick, I want to share some things that happened on the island. Like I said, I'm going to start doing this now. I guess like first and foremost, I don't know what's going on between our two himbos. This happened and they had a little conversation nothing crazy happened they just kind of talked to each other personal space neither of them know what that is so i don't know what's up with that also i guess i should share something a little sad that's happened <laughs> on the island as you could see whitney and margie they got into a fight it was nasty it was nasty margie was very mad and um uh they broke up so r.i.p to that relationship very sad i don't know what else to say about it but whitney and margie have broke up they split up they no longer hang out together it's been very weird on the island ever since that's happened because whitney and margie were sort of a power couple and now they're kind of just doing their own things they're not really hanging out with each other they're kind of doing their own thing and it's very 
very awkward for the rest of us on the island because yeah, like I said, power couple destroyed. That's happened. I guess like we could just kind of work on, no, I want to work on the little beach first just because do I have anything in my pocket? No, we're going to work on the little beach first. Like I said, I have no idea how this video is going to turn out. We're just going to kind of go with the flow of it. That's mainly a statement for y'all watching because for me, I'm at least playing the game. Y'all have to watch me act like an idiot today. So prepare for that. And yeah, I'm going to start off by being digging up all these trees because don't really need them. Oh, speaking of Whitney, there she is, our newly single lady. Look at her, at least she's still serving looks. Whitney, such an icon. How are you today, honey? Why, don't you look fab- She does not have an accent. Why, don't you look fabulous, Button? It seems the summer weather suits you perfectly. Is it the vitamin D from the sun? Is it the warm glow on your cheeks? You must tell me your secrets. Whitney, you yourself are fucking glowing too, bestie. You are a queen. Do not fret. You are glowing as well. Stan Whitney, shout out to Whitney. Such an icon. Yeah, I'm just gonna dig up these trees real quick because they're not needed. They're also blocking the way. So today is currently Wednesday, June 21st. I was supposed to have a video out today because I try to upload every Wednesday, but as you can see, there's no video out today. Sorry about that. Work has happened. <laughs> I've been very busy and very tired from it. I work in retail, so dealing with a lot of Karens every day. Not every day, but like every weekend, which is very tiring. I usually film on weekends and also like on um, Mondays as well, but I also work Mondays sometimes now. It's been really getting in the way. Um, That's kind of why I kind of scaled back on uploads altogether. I feel like if anybody's noticed, like I'm trying to do more. Like, yes, I'm not uploading as much as I used to. I used to upload twice a week. Now I only upload once a week, but I am trying to do like long longer videos at least so it kind of makes up for the fact that I'm not uploading as much you know my last two videos were 40 minutes I haven't edited it yet but that video where I rank all the NPCs it took me two hours to film it so I don't know how long that video is gonna end up being but beach is here it's cute <laughs> Uh, I don't really want to do like too much to it. I kind of want to just keep it very minimal. Kind of have an idea. That's a big fish that I kind of have an idea for what I want to do. I don't know. We'll see as I go. Let me catch this fish first. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Let me catch pond skater. We can use that as inspo for the decoration. Maybe there's like some fish. The museum's right over here. Even though it's not staying there, um, it could still, why, is... why did it go over there? No, <laughs> it could serve as inspiration for what I maybe want to do. No, why is it so far away? <laughs> I'm gonna spend very, a very long time doing this for no reason. Where did it go? No. <laughs> and as soon as I come to the other side, it swims to the other side. Nintendo, I blame you. Where did it? Now it's, <laughs> okay, I give up. I'm not catching it. Never mind. I tried to do something and it's just not working. Hang on, where is it? No, why is it doing that? That's so rude. Oh, there it is. Can I get it? Yes, that took way too long. I should be embarrassed, but I'm not. We have this little area over here. I'm just gonna like wing it, I think. Um, I'm kind of inspired by like the beaches that I did on Eld New. If you haven't seen that video, you can go watch it. But I kind of want to make it more abandoned. Obviously, like this is right by the entrance. So I don't really think like it's gonna be like too much of a public beach. Um, Maybe it's gonna be, like I said, a little more public or not public, a little more abandoned, just kind of like an empty little beach, a lot of things and stuff to do uh yeah i might i have some coconut oh no i don't i ate all the coconuts ah oh, dang it uh do i have any other coconut trees i'm gonna use some coconuts because if you don't know you can plant a tree and then plant a fruit next to it and it stunts its growth so i might be doing that here and there what am i trying to say i am gonna shut up uh okay hopefully this tree grows probably i could just time travel oh uh, no i don't want to god i'm so tired i have no idea why First and foremost, could I plant a tree right here? Because I kind of want to put one like right there. Um, could I, could I plant a tree there? If I plant this here, would it look weird from up here? No, that's not bad. That's kind of cute. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to like obstruct the view of all this because I want this to be visible at least. So there we go. We got one tree there. Cute, cute. I think I'm going to plant like another tree just kind of over here. A little askew just to create like a little space. I don't want to plant too many trees which oh my god shocker me not using a lot of trees <laughs> um i think like two or three is good enough honestly i don't 
really want to do too much. Maybe I'll plant like one here and chop it down. Um, do I want to plant it there? Do I even want to plant it there? Uh, maybe I'm going to move it. Here I am wasting a fruit already. Yay me. Okay, I think I'm going to move it like over here instead. Just so it's kind of like we have like all this space to kind of like do things and it's not. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't need to. I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> Can I plant it here or here? Or is that, okay. I think I'm gonna try to plant a tree right here. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. Cool, cool. That's cute. Just like a little border kind of thing. And then maybe one more tree right here that I'm gonna chop down just for fun. Cause why not? You know, deforestization, that's always cute. Wow. I think that's like the first time I got no softwood from a palm tree. That's weird. Anyways, I might plant like one more over here if I can, but like I'll plant like a smaller tree tree maybe like right here can I plant a tree here I don't know I don't think I can maybe maybe one more like over here instead um hopefully that works we'll see and I time travel and if not that works too now I guess I gotta go get some fences I want to use the vertical board fences around here just because I think that does look good on the beach I don't know if I have enough uh we're just gonna have to go and see I have not upgraded my house yet because I don't want to <laughs> at least not yet I am trying to use my bells elsewhere before I do that. So, um, do I, what am I looking for? Fences. Do I have fences? I only have two. How convenient. I'm gonna grab these as well. Gosh, my computer is all ready. I've only been recording for like 20 minutes. It's already screaming at me. Shut up, computer. Do I want to use anything else? I guess I'll grab this wood and we'll craft some more vertical board fencing while we're here. Oh, wait, do I not have the recipe? Oh, shit. Wait, I don't have the recipe for the vertical board fence. Fuck. Uh, damn it. Of course, it's the one that I want to use on my island. Of course, of course, I don't have the recipe for it. Good to know. Good to know. Please, please, please let it be available today in town hall to purchase please 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 animal crossing gods lords saviors whatever help me is it available dang it no <laughs> only the spiky and the brick fence and i don't want either of those dang it i guess we'll have to improvise maybe i'll just use the bamboo fence um i don't know if i have any bamboo we'll go check <laughs> Ugh, I should have prepared for this before I started filming, huh? All right, back home we go. Do I have, oh, I have a lot of bamboo, Never mind. Oh, we're set then. Oh, thank goodness. We'll just craft it real quick and we'll use the bamboo fence. Honestly, like the bamboo fence and the vertical board fence, they kind of serve the same purpose. They're both tall and they're both beige. So I can just, when I get the recipe, I'll probably just replace them. I have like a little fish thing in my pockets. I kind of want to use that. Maybe like, maybe it can be like an abandoned, I don't know, like an abandoned fish fishing spot or something. Maybe we'll just do like a fishing spot. I feel like that could work. Just like a fishing spot, right? Like somewhere here. I think I'm gonna move this. Maybe I don't need that. So for that, we're gonna need like a fishing rod. And I think I'm gonna try to find like the cooler item if I have one lying around. And if not, um, I'll probably just use a freezer until I get my hands on the cooler item. Uh, gosh, we gotta run around the island <laughs> looking for everything, huh? And yeah, we'll just hunt for some items to use. And while I do that, I will be talking because that's what I do best. Is there anything over here? Um, so literally today, it's Wednesday the 21st, like I just said. I, I posted on my community tab asking for like topics and like ideas to kind of just talk about in my videos. Because like I said, I do all my videos unscripted. I go in with like no idea what I want to say. And sometimes that can be very difficult to come up with things on the spot. So I asked you guys on the community tab, like I said, for some topics, questions, whatever you want to hear me ramble about. Um, so I guess we can just kind of like go through and answer some and look at some things that people said. Uh, sorry if I don't get to yours. Like I said, I'm probably not gonna do everybody's today cause I kind of want to space these out and use them in like all my videos. I don't want to just use them all up in one day. So yeah, if you haven't checked out the community tab yet, go do that. It's on my channel where the community tab is. Um, hopefully you know where it is. And if not, you can just Google it. So. I guess we'll start off with the top comment from Richard P.S. Basically asking for any like childhood stories. Do I have any like good childhood stories that I want to share? Um, hmm, let me think. What is the brown herringbone wall? Okay, let me think of some childhood stories. Oh my God. <laughs> 
I just remembered something. I don't know if I want to share that. Actually, now that I'm mentioning it, I have to share it. So I, as a child, had, honestly, I'd say I still do. I have like this really weird fascination with like ears in the sense of like, um, this is going to sound gross, but like, you know, those earwax videos on YouTube, the earwax removal and stuff like that. Like as a child, I was like so into using Q-tips. And again, I still am. I know they're not good for you, but like, girl, they feel so good in your ear sometimes. You know, like y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Putting a Q-tip in your ear. If you're someone who does it, you understand. You understand. And um, if my sister's watching this, she probably knows where I'm going with this because this is, I don't know how and why this happened. But basically as a child, like I said, I was addicted to using Q-tips and I was addicted to putting things in my ear and then like kind of pulling them out either with like my hands or like the Q-tips. Um, So one day I'm brown. Um, so my family eats things like roti <laughs> and, um, you know, stuff like that. So one day my parents made roti to eat and I was eating it with my hands as a brown person does. And I got bored and I was like, hmm, let me take a piece of this roti and stick it in my ear. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. I stuck a piece of roti in my ear and, um, I went to go grab it with the Q-tip. And I think like the piece of roti that I put in my ear was just too big for for my ear so when I went in with the q-tip to like try and squeeze it out um it got lodged in my ear <laughs> and it got stuck and I couldn't get it out of my ear and I started freaking out because I was like holy shit there's like actual fucking roti in my ear I can't hear out of my left ear I think it was my left ear I can't remember oh I found the cooler item thank god and the fishing rod set how perfect that they're all next to each other that seems too perfect okay I got distracted yeah there was fucking roti in my ear and I was like six years old. I was a literal child doing this. That's my excuse. So I was just like, I have no idea what to do in this situation. So obviously being a child, I scream and ran to my mother and was like, help me. I have roti in my ear. And she just looked at me and was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Here's the thing. My mother was not, I don't know. I'm not trying to like shit on my mom right now or anything, but like this woman, she took a bobby pin. She was like trying to fish it out of my ear with a bobby pin. And then she ended up pushing it in even deeper to the point where it started to hurt. So then we had to go to the doctors and the doctors just flushed it out of my ear. And even the doctor looked at me like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I think like this was the moment when my mom and my dad knew that like their child was just, their child was special. I think that was the day when they found out that they had a special child. They were going to have a child who was memorable, an icon, a moment, a legend. Like I think that was the moment when they realized yeah, we have a stupid child on our hands, but that child is gonna be an icon. Yeah, that's my fun childhood story. I don't really share that one. I don't know why. It's not like super embarrassing or anything. It's kind of more funny. Like I can laugh at it now as a grown man. Honestly, I feel like I just said I'm a grown man. And I feel like to this day, I still sometimes stick things in my ears. Obviously not like food or something that shouldn't be in your ears, but like I do tend to like stick. Like I, I'll like, what would I stick? Like I use like, like q-tips obviously i just said that um and also i tend to stick like pencils <laughs> that's not something I should share and stuff like that in my ears. I wonder why I have bad hearing sometimes. And I think that probably answers the age old question of why do I have bad hearing? So Poppy, excuse me. <laughs> Can you please move? Thank you. Uh, do I want to stick that rock here? I kind of want to create like a little border situation right over here. Create like a little rock corner kind of thing. I just said that. Why am I repeating myself? Uh, and I'll probably stick the other one right here. And then hopefully that looks good. Does this look good? I think it does. Fun, fun, fun. What am I going to grab? Do I have like, what do I have in my pockets? I want to stick like something. Ooh, we could stick the fishing rods over here. Maybe one out like there instead. Hang on. I'm gonna put something here, just like a little, I need to get more designs. I've been meaning to do that and I just keep forgetting. Like this, that is very, very cute. And this is kind of like a cute little callback to uh, Tom's house over on Eld New where I, I also gave him like a little fishing spot. So yeah, shout out to Tom from Eld New. Where's the cooler? Why is my laptop screaming at me right now? I hope y'all can't hear it. Uh, you probably can. I do not like that awkward space. Um, I might just go and grab the freezer instead if I'm being honest. And 
maybe I'm gonna redo this in general because I'm not really a fan of it. I think I'm just gonna make it more in line, kind of like this. And we'll use both newspaper designs instead to create some variety like that. Cute, cute. Fun, fun. I think I'm gonna grab the freezer instead. I don't know, I'm not a fan of how the fresh cooler look, even though it does make sense. Actually, let me just try it again. Fresh cooler there. I don't know if I like that. Um, I'm gonna roll with it, but I'll probably swap it out for the freezer item instead, just cause I think the freezer item's cuter, um, but we'll see. I'm gonna stick the fishing rod right over here, wherever it is in my pocket, like so. Fun, fun. I'm probably gonna add like fences over here, maybe to kind of like close off the area. So maybe like you can't access the water from over here. You gotta go to the other beach on the other side of town to do that. Or maybe just like this. And we'll stick this shell back here because I don't know why I had that in my pocket to begin with. Um, Can I put a design here? Actually, that would be really cool if you could put a design here. This grass trail, if I can. No, I'll just stick the shell in. Hopefully no big fish spawn over here, but in the off chance that it does, I will just have to deal with it and not catch it. So that already looks very cool. Just this little fishing area right here. I am a fan of that. So if y'all wanna copy it, you can. I won't get mad at you. I kinda wanna stick the ocean sunfish nearby. Kinda like, you know, they're, um, they fished up a little, <laughs> an ocean sunfish just for fun. I have to donate it to Blathers, but I'll pro I could just catch another one to donate later. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'll probably just stick it like right here. Let me grab another fence. Are they talking? Oh my God, Julia and Whitney are talking. Miss Whitney, you literally broke up with Margie this morning. By the way, that happened this morning. Um, are you already flirting with another girl? I don't, I mean, I don't blame you if you do. You do you, Whitney. I'm not gonna judge. Uh, live your life how you want. You are a grown woman. You don't need me to decide how you control your life. Should I just go and see what they're talking about? That would be fun. Let's go do that. Let's see what they're talking about. The two girlies. You wouldn't think it to look at me now, but I was quite the wild child back in my day. Me too, darling. I was terribly rebellious. Julia's British. I listened to the loudest music in my wardrobe was almost entirely black, if you can believe it. Mine too. Just look at us. We're like two stilettos in a shoebox. But thank goodness we've matured beyond such silliness. I mean, just look at us. I'd say we're the picture of sophistication, wouldn't you, Button? You are very grown up, both of you. Grown up? Grown up? Oh dear. When you put it that way, it sounds rather boring, doesn't it? Julia, are we too mature? Is that possible? Perhaps we need to shake things up. I agree. Grown up is just another way of saying out of touch. Y'all are not out of touch. Look at you both. You're literally serving looks as we speak. It's time we dust off our black clothing and play some music loud enough to shake the rafters. I think I have some jazz records that should do nicely. You do you. You do you, Julia. You do you, Whitney. No one should stop you from being the icons that the both of you are. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna stick this ocean sunfish right here. That's cute. Like I said, whoever fishes in this area, maybe they caught this ocean, ocean sunfish and it's just chilling here. What do I want to stick here? Maybe I'll put like do I have a lawn chair? Um, I think I grabbed one. Yeah, I'll put this lawn chair right there. Cute, cute. And then maybe, ooh, we'll put this fan like so. Maybe kind of closer to chair, just like that. Cute, cute, cute. I think I'm gonna stick another tree right here if I can, like that. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't really block the area. So I'm not too mad about that. I'll probably grab something to put over here later. It's starting to come along nicely, I'll admit. I'm gonna try to figure out what else to do, what to do, what to do. Like I said, I'm trying to go a little more abandoned. I have a wave breaker on me, don't I? Maybe I'll stick the wave breaker close to the water. No, I don't. Did I not pick it up? Oh gosh. Now we gotta run back just to grab the wave breaker. Hi, Poppy. Let's talk to him real quick. It's Tater Tot. He calls me Tater Tot and that is so fucking adorable. Ugh. The best part. Okay, we heard this before from Bo. I'm not saying that again. Melba, how you doing? Sprockets and... <laughs> Like I said, sometimes I just panic. A little fresh air never fails to cheer me up, Canopy. Thank you, Melba, for that input. Why the fuck are you thinking? I'm kind of down in the dumps. I desperately need a beach towel. Why? Why do you want a beach towel? <laughs> he said, honey. Oh God, I can't say no to him. Why do you want my beach towel? What? I mean, I guess you live on the beach, so it makes sense. But like, come on, dude, I needed that. Let's find something else 
to talk about. I, like I said, I asked y'all for a community for questions and stuff, and I only answered slash talked about one of them. So here's another one. Let's look for another one. Connor Sternberg, hopefully I said that right. They ask for my favorite queens from each season of Drag Race. Um, I know I always talk about Drag Race, and I'm gonna talk about Drag Race once again, because I want to. Um, I don't think I've ever like explicitly said who my favorite queens are from like each season. So I think I'm just gonna answer um, one queen per season of all the seasons that I watched, including internationals. So why is Whitney talking or thinking? Girl, what the hell? I did it again. I bought a garden faucet. What? Garden faucet. Please let it be a color that I don't have. Please let it be a color that I don't have. Whitney, did you bless us today? Blessed be kitty girl. That is not the item I need. No, where is it? Hello? Is it a color I don't have? What do you mean there's no room to put it here? Dang it. It's literally the one right there. Ugh. Can they give us like, can our villagers at least like give us items that like colorways of items that we don't have? Please Nintendo, please. I'm sick and tired of asking questions. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Uh, my favorite queens from each season of Drag Race. So we'll start off with US just cause obviously that's like the original season. My favorite queen from season one. Who is my favorite queen from these, from season one? I'm just gonna have to say Nina Flowers. I love Nina a lot. I think she was very cool. And especially on the first season, we already had like kind of an alternative queen. I'm always a fan of like the queens who do things differently than others. And you know, they kind of do things their own way. I love Nina a lot. I would not be mad if she came back for another All-Star season since we're apparently bringing back everybody from All-Stars 1. Season two, my favorite queen. It's honestly changed changed because originally it was Jujubee for obvious reasons but I feel like nowadays I really like re-watching the season I really loved um Morgan a lot and I think Morgan has become one of my favorite queens from the season just because like especially like the whole story where she punched a Nazi that is so fucking iconic also Morgan's so hot I don't think she gets enough credit for how hot she is out of drag so yeah shout out to Morgan McMichaels um her lip sync against Sahara even though she lost it um Sahara fucking slayed that lip sync that is one of my all-time favorite lip syncs from the show for anybody wondering Sahara versus Morgan in season two uh you can go watch that one if you want if you haven't already seen it season three I think my favorite queen has to be Raja kind of biased because we're both brown girls but <laughs> um I do love Raja a lot our only Asian winner obviously she has a special place in my heart and I I still really like Raja a lot I feel like I also really like Alexis and Yada and Manila and Shangela and basically I like the cast. Season three is one of my favorite seasons in general, I would say. It's not my all time favorite, but it's up there for me. It's top three of the US seasons alone. So yeah, that's cute. I have no idea what I wanna do. I'm thinking, yeah, season four, who is my favorite queen? I really like Willem. Willem is one of my favorites. I don't think he's my favorite anymore though. He was for a bit, but yeah, not anymore. Now I think it's, it's, it, it's gotta be Latrice. I love Latrice a lot. The five Gs, good God, get a grip girl is something I quote every day and also um miss royale politics can get rough has there ever been a time you made you've seen eye to eye with somebody who has who you haven't wait what has there ever been a time where you made peace with someone you haven't seen eye to eye with about five minutes ago i looked across the room at miss o'hara and i realized she was ugly and i'm at peace with that i quote that every day i love that fucking scene so much oh my god latrice is an icon her run on all stars 4 questionable but i don't care because latrice is iconic do i like this now that it's on the beach i don't think i like it as much so never mind maybe if i move it over here um we'll do something else oh gosh i have so much space that i need to fill up the area with i have no idea what i want to put here i guess i could just leave it natural grab a bunch of like weeds and stuff maybe that's what i'll do and like maybe plant another tree i gotta go buy some flowers then hang on uh back to what i was saying so um i'm gonna do all stars one actually no all stars no, because it, I'm not gonna do All Star season just because. Well, should I do All Star seasons? I mean, like they were on their original seasons, and well, I guess like if I there was so if I had to choose like somebody out of All Stars, yeah, I'll do All Star seasons. Okay. Oh God, look who's here. Hi, dude. <laughs> it's our first time seeing him since he <laughs> since we met him on that villager hunt. Yo, Vis, does your jog route go through here? Just walking around here is pretty a pretty decent workout. You don't even have to buy anything. Roof. Shout out to Richard Original. Yeah. So. So All Stars 1, um, kind of an obvious answer, but I do really like Jujube. <laughs> so I'm gonna say Jujube. Um, shout out to Jujube. Jujube has to be like top five best queens of all time. Season five, who's my favorite queen from season five? Hmm, I have to think. I, hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna have to say Jinx. <laughs> 
I really, I just love that underdog storyline. I feel like that was the first time ever in Drag Race that we got the underdog storyline. And Jinx is hilarious. Her snatch game is iconic. I have no idea who little Edie is, but it's still iconic. And Jinx out of Drag Race, doing her own stuff, hilarious as hell, especially when she's with Ben de la Creme. So... Yeah, shout out to Jinx Monsoon, one of the best winners in the franchise. Don't at me on that. I need weeds. Season six. Yes, season six was right after. Who was my favorite queen on season six? Probably once again, gonna have to go with the basic answer, but no, nah, do will I go with the basic answer? Yeah, Bianca. Nah, do I like Bianca? Um, I'm gonna say either Bianca or... No, I'm gonna say Jocelyn. Yeah, Jocelyn Fox. I liked Jocelyn Fox a lot. Jocelyn Fox was very hilarious to me. Her Snatch game, kind of underrated, honestly. Come in. Season 7, honestly, my favorite queen on season 7. It's either... Yeah, I'm gonna say Ginger. I like Ginger a lot. Sue me. I'm sorry. I think Ginger is hilarious. And I really like her a lot. So I am rooting for her currently on All Stars. She's not my top pick. We'll get into that. But I, yeah, like I said, I love Ginger a lot. So shout out to Ginger Midge. Season eight, Bob. I don't need to argue that. Bob, Bob the drag queen is honestly like, I would say like just overall, like my top queens. Bob is my favorite queen out of everybody on Drag Race. Bob the drag queen is my favorite Rue girl of all time. Season eight was the first season I ever watched because for a while that was the only season we had on Canadian Netflix. Don't know why, that was a choice. And yeah, as soon as Bob walked in and said hi, my name is Bob the Drag Queen. Despite not knowing anything about Drag Race, I watched that and I was like, yeah, I think Bob is gonna win. Whoever Bob is, I think they're gonna win. And they did. So are we surprised? No, not at all, because Bob is one of the most talented queens, I think, to ever grace the stage of Drag Race. And I love them so, so much. So shout out to Bob the Drag Queen. I'm just gonna plant like a coconut somewhere. I don't care if it grows. Um, no, never mind. I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do here. I have so much space to like fill in. And I have no ideas on what to do. It's just like, it's not coming. Like some, it's just not clicking. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? I'm gonna stick some more fence. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna stick some more fence. I'll use the actual vertical board fencing that I have in my pocket, just like that. And then maybe, ooh, maybe we'll stick like a garden faucet here. Kind of like a little thingy to like wash your feet as you exit the beach, just like right here. It's right behind the thing. So it's a little secretive, you know, some privacy or whatever. I don't know. Logic doesn't have to happen. That kind of gives us some more things to do. What can I put here then? Hmm, what do I have on me? We'll put this bike. When in doubt, put a, when in doubt, put a bike. Can I push that in? No, I'll push that out then. Continuing on, All Stars 2, Alyssa. I really liked Alyssa. <laughs> Riga Morris, girl, it was Riga Morris. Morris, who's Morris? It's Riga Mortis. I love that scene so much. Again, I quote it very often. So yeah, I love Alyssa a lot. Season nine, honestly, I would say season nine, who is my favorite queen? I gotta think, Sasha. <laughs> it's Sasha. Again, I feel like that's the third or fourth winner I've said so far, but I really like Sasha as well. Yeah, shout out to Sasha Valor. I really do like her and that lip sync will forever be iconic. Season 10. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this one. I don't think I will, but if I do, sorry, but I really like Cameron a lot. Um, not only is Cameron very attractive, I'm gonna stick another fish right here, uh, just because I just caught it, so we might as well use it. Just like that. No, not that way. I don't know if that's backwards. Yeah, Cameron Michaels from season 10, I would say is my favorite queen from the season. I really like her a lot. Not only is he, <laughs> not only is he very attractive out of drag um sorry not sorry but also i i just relate to her a lot as the quiet girl because like i said before i am the quiet person in real life i may be very chatty and rambly on this channel but in real life i am quiet as hell people there are some people who have never heard me speak despite me knowing them for like all my life they don't know my voice like that like i said i i just relate to cameron a lot and i do like him a lot as well cool i don't know does this work i think i'm gonna add a bucket wait what the fuck happened over over here hello huh huh if only i had noticed sooner and watered them i can't help but feel this is my fault at least a bit excuse me why is she talking about flowers girl tell me what happened <laughs> whitney told me plants will grow just fine even if you don't water them every day so i figured everything was fine but now they're gone that's so sad it is isn't it i've tried to water them when i realized they were in a bad shape but it was already too late that is a horrible accent i'm so sorry to anybody who's british wow 
they were just friends and now they're fighting. Okay, good to know. Whitney and Julia, that was Julia's first official fight ever, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna like add some things. Don't know what this video was, like I said. If you're still watching, thanks. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you if you're still watching. I'm just gonna add that beach ball there. You can never have too many weeds on your island. I don't know, I guess this works. I kind of want to add more, but like I don't really have anything else to like add if i'm being honest um i should get more designs and stuff huh that's that's one thing that's for certain i need to get more designs and shit in my game i guess like we'll add a life ring right here just because it's always good to be safe and sound and i'll probably just add like a little fishing sign right here just because it's already in my pockets kind of point to the little fishing area no i'm gonna move that down let's put it here i think it'll look cuter like so um i think i'm just gonna call it there for now cute this is the little beach area very cute um i don't really need to give a proper tour because you can see the entirety of it right here so cool wow that took an hour <laughs> it's six o'clock i did not realize that okay yeah i kind of want to keep landscaping if i'm being honest i showed it off before we have the area behind sprocket's house i think i'm gonna work on that too because I realized as well, I'm so sorry. I didn't finish the fucking thing I was talking about. All my favorite drag race queens. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna clear this area off and finish that off real quick. After season 10, we had All Stars 3. Or was All Stars 3 first and then season 10? I can't remember. Um, But I'm just gonna say All Stars 3 right now. Who was my favorite queen on All Stars 3? I, I know her track record wasn't great on the season, but honestly, I really enjoyed Kennedy. I just like Kennedy Davenport a lot. She is one of my favorite queen she is so fucking funny she doesn't get enough credit i think she's getting enough credit for it now because of her recent pit stop interview with trixie and the whole black stockings white shoes shouldn't be allowed in the church hilarious kennedy is so fucking funny and i think she is even though she made top four on season seven and made top two on all stars three i think she's still like one of the more underrated queens um she doesn't get enough appreciation she deserves more shout out to kennedy davenport like i said i like her a lot i like kennedy and i think kennedy was my favorite queen on season three of all stars so cool cool and then next up is season 11. This is again gonna kind of sound cliche, but I really did like Brooke a lot, but she she wasn't my favorite queen though, surprisingly, despite her being Canadian. No, I think Akira was my favorite on the season. I'm gonna be honest, I actually really wanted Akira to win. Obviously, like I think everybody and their mother knew from the start that it was gonna be Brooke and Evie as the top two. There was a small part of me that really wanted Akira in the final round, either against Evie or Brooke. I think if there was a top three, it would have been. No, if there was a top three, it would have probably been Silky. Silky, Evie, and Brooke. But I really liked Akira a lot, like I said. And uh, she's currently on All-Star 6. And even though she hasn't been really doing well, I hope she pulls through and manages to improve. Because like I said, I like her a lot. She's one of my favorite queens. And once again, she's very hot out of drag. I would like to say that right now. Akira is very attractive out of drag. Do with that information what you will. I have no idea what I want to do here. I'm just kind of filling this space in. And I'm going to... I think I'm gonna try to like um create like a little kind of viewing deck sort of situation just because we have a lake right over there. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping that lake if I'm being honest. I kind of started closing it off a little bit just because like it's very uh obstructive and very <laughs> in the way of everything but I don't know we'll see. It's very confusing. This island overall has been very confusing if I'm being completely honest like I have no idea what I'm doing 90% of the time and that needs to change. Back to what I was saying all stars four Ooh, don't get me started on all stars four i i don't know if this is an unpopular opinion i think that monique should have won all stars four if she was my favorite queen on the season and i remember early spoilers that were like leaking and like getting out were saying that monique was supposed to be the first out of the season and i remember reading that and being like oh all stars four is gonna be trash just because monique's not even making it to the top like she's not even making it to the second episode hell no i'm not watching this season you can't convince me and then it turns out no, she actually won the first episode rather than going home on that episode. And she managed to make it all the way to top four. So good for her. Monique is one of my favorite queens as well. And she was one of my favorite queens on All Stars 4. And like I said, I think she should have won either as a solo or alongside Monet, if I'm being honest. Like both of the times she was in the bottom, 
she didn't deserve it, at least not it, according to me. If it was based off my judging critiques, she would not have been in the bottom ever while she was on the show because she fucking slayed every single episode. I love Monique Hart so much. This is a Monique Hart stan account. I believe in Monique Hart's supremacy. She was also one of my favorite queens on season 10. I feel like I should bring that up. I said it was Cameron. Cameron, her, and Monet were my top three on season 10. Putting that out there real quick. What was after All Stars 4? Was it season 12? Obviously it was season 12. What else is there? What the fuck? Season 12, who was my favorite queen? Uh, I don't want to give any ties, but like, I think I'm going to have to give a tie on this season because it's between Heidi and Jada for me. Our Miss Congeniality and our winner, spoilers alert. I should have given a spoiler alert. I feel like by this point, you should know that there's a spoiler alert if you haven't seen any of these seasons. But yeah, Heidi and Jada. I, I believe in Jada Essence Hall's supremacy. Gigi stands, shut up. I don't care. It's been over a year. Get over it. I really like Jada and I think she deserved the crown just as much as Gigi did. So I don't care what you have to say about the situation. I really like Jada Essence Hall a lot. She is an icon. Yeah, shout out to Jada Essence Hall. She is a baddie. I don't know what fence I want to use here. I'm thinking between the country fence and the ba- the the barbed wire. I want to use the barbed wire so bad, but like I know if I end up using it, it this area is going to look so similar to Eld New. And I'm getting a lot of people complaining, being like, <laughs> your island looks like Eld New, which honestly, I don't care because this is my game not yours but like I mean like I guess like sometimes even I want to change I don't know I think I'm just gonna end up using the barbed wire fence anyways who cares like I said my game not yours if y'all don't want me to use it then oh well I can't tell if my game is lagging I feel like it is which if it is I'm so sorry um, there's not much I can really do about that but I'm gonna stick a tree over here like I said, it's gonna be like kind of a little viewing deck kind of area, similar to what I did with Coco's house on Eld New, which was inspired by Cheesecake underscore 2112 on Instagram. So yeah, I kind of want to add like some more things. I don't know. I want, what I'm planning on doing, I'm not gonna work on like this area over here just yet, but what I plan on doing is just kind of having like this be a viewing deck and then the path kind of continue on to like over here. And then this just kind of be like more nature and such. I don't know. I need a tree that I don't have in my pockets. So I'm gonna go grab one. If I have one, oh my God, why am I so out of breath? I think by this point, nobody should be surprised with how long it takes me to get to the fucking point. What season am I on? I just did season 12. Oh, so next is season 13. No, fuck, it's All Stars 5. Oh God. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion or not, but I don't like All Stars 5. I think of all the All Star seasons, I was gonna say it's worse than All Stars 1. No, it's not. All Stars 1 was garbage. No offense. The queens were great. On both seasons, the queens were great. It's just the season itself wasn't good. I think just the way production handled everything and stuff, not good. And I am not a fan of it. All Stars 5 wasn't really great, but the queens, like I said, were great. I loved Juju B. Once again, I think if I had to pick a queen, uh, my favorite would probably be Juju. Once again, Juju really carried All Stars 5 as she should. She was the narrator of the season. And I was surprised that a lot of people actually wanted her to win. Like I knew from the start that Shay was gonna win, spoiler alert. Yeah, I knew as soon as they announced that Shay Kool-Aid was on All Stars 5, I was like, yeah, she's winning. Regardless of her stats, regardless of who she's up against in the finale, she is winning. I'm at peace with that because Shay Kool-Aid is an icon. I knew from the get-go that she was gonna win. And like a lot of people did obviously because it's Shay Kool-Aid. But yeah, I was really surprised that a lot of people, once again, myself included, actually wanted Juju B to win as well. Like, I wouldn't have been mad if Juju won, despite her having, like, the lowest stats. Season 13 was next, right? I can't remember. It's been a long year. <laughs> like, it's been a really long year. I can't remember what season was next. It was season 13, right? Right after All Stars 5. When did All Stars 5 happen? Was All Stars 5 this year? Or was it last year? Was it the end of last year? Or was it the beginning of last year? Wait, was All Stars 5 before? Oh my god, yeah, All Stars 5 was before season 12. Or right after season 12. It was last, wow. Wow, I literally forgot. Okay, cool, good to know. It's been a very long year. Okay, yeah, season 13. Who was my favorite queen on season 13? Yeah, we all know this, it's Simone. I knew, once again from the get-go, I knew that Simone was gonna win. I'm one of those ones, I knew Simone was gonna win from the start. And I'm not mad because Simone 
Simone is an icon and she deserves the crown. Sorry, not sorry if that pisses you off. She was very great. So I'm thankful that she won. Would it be weird to put like some vending machines up here? Would it be weird? I think it would be weird. I don't know. I kind of wanted to like line this up with vending machines. You know what? I'm going to do it anyways. Y'all can't stop me. I'm going to put vending machines up here. We're just going to go and grab some real quick. Gosh, so much running around. That's what every landscaping video is though. So I'm still fucking rambling. We still got to get through the international seasons. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's the next season after season 13? All Star 6, the current season, right. Who's my favorite queen so far? It's, it, yeah, it's Raja. Are we surprised? I feel like by this point, we're not surprised. It's Raja. I really like Raja. Raja is an icon and like, yeah, I kind of want her to win. If I'm being honest, I really think that Raja might have what it takes to win the season. Shout out to Raja O'Hara. I hope she makes it to the top three, which honestly, I feel like she is. Um, Hopefully it's not a spoiler, but I do, I do feel like she's going to make it to the top three. Okay. And now moving on to international seasons. I haven't seen every single one of them. If I'm being honest, I've only seen Drag Race UK, Drag Race Thailand, and Drag Race Canada. I haven't watched Drag Race Spain or um, Holland. Oh, and Down Under. I saw Down Under. Uh, <laughs> I wish I hadn't, but I did. And there's not much I can do about it. I would say like, we'll start off with Drag Race Canada, obviously, cause I'm Canadian. My favorite queen. Once again, not a surprise, but I really did like Priyanka. She, once again, she's an icon. She's beautiful. She's the moment. Usually with like Drag Race seasons, as soon as they announce the cast, I'm like, oh, this queen is gonna win the season. I can call it right now. I didn't call it with Drag Race Canada. I didn't know who was gonna win right away. Like if I was being, I'm gonna stop saying if I'm being honest, but um, yeah, I like, I watched the Meet the Queens and everything. And I was like, I genuinely have no idea who's gonna win, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't think it's a bad thing. It just shows how good the cast is overall. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I was surprised that Priyanka won. I was surprised that Priyanka won because you know, she was in the bottom twice. She, I don't think she had like the best stats since a lot of people like to base this off the report card. So I was surprised that Priyanka won, but I'm not mad that she won because I think like before Drag Race Canada, like obviously there's a drag scene in Canada and like Priyanka is one of my favorite queens. Like she's one of my favorite Canadian queens regardless. So I was very happy when I found out that she won and I was very happy when I found out that she was gonna be on the show. I knew she was gonna make top three, but I didn't think she was gonna win. No offense, like I said, but yeah, I, I just like Priyanka. That's what I'm trying to say. I like Priyanka a lot and she's one of my all-time favorite queens outside of drag race and i guess now on drag race since she is a rue girl and she's representing canada and canadian drag um and also like it's kind of funny because i did grow up with her as well because you know she talked about being a kids a kids tv show host um i used to watch that kids tv channel that she was on so i know priyanka um well i don't know her personally but i do know her out of drag as mark the person who hosted ytv that's the channel that she was on it's very very surreal to see her now be this big gay superstar and I am living for it obviously cute I don't know what I did here um I did a thing I'm not mad at it so I'm gonna keep it I think I'm going to plant yeah I'm gonna plant a bush right here and I'm probably gonna grab like another garden rock from somewhere and put that nearby and like maybe something right here if I have anything on hand I guess we could put the cardboard sofa right here actually no let me put some more newspapers underneath anyways back to what I was saying uh Drag Race UK. Ooh, Drag Race UK. Another unpopular opinion, but honestly, I think Vivian was one of my favorite queens. No, I don't think she was my all-time favorite queen from season one. I wasn't mad when she was crowned the winner of season one, if I'm being honest. Why do I keep saying that? I actually did like Vivian a lot. And I kind of knew from the get-go that she was gonna win. Like, I wasn't really surprised when they crowned her the winner. I thought she deserved the crown just as much as Davina. I'm not gonna say that Davina deserved it more. I felt like the crown could have went to either one of them personally. She's not my favorite queen though, like I just said. Yeah, who would my favorite queen be? I don't know if I'm gonna get hate for this. I keep saying that, but I, I really liked Cheryl. <laughs> I think I liked Cheryl Hole the best. She was the most entertaining to me, personally. Um, She was very funny. She had great confessionals. She wasn't the best in the challenges, but she wasn't always the worst. She represents us mediocre girls who just get by doing the bare minimum. So, <laughs> I'm kidding, she didn't do the bare minimum. Um, She 
she gave it her all. I think she had one of the best lip syncs of the season, her against Blue, spoiler alert, and also her against Bega, because let's be honest, this, the lip syncs on that season, not the greatest. Yeah, they weren't great, but they weren't horrible. We've definitely seen some shittier lip syncs from other seasons of the show. Shout out to Cheryl Hole. That's what I'm trying to say. Shout out to Cheryl Hole. Does this look cute? I don't know. Now I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, what do I have on me? What can I put? Do I have like a single? Ooh, I'll put the bike there instead. Just just like this cute cute and maybe I'll push it out one so it's like that actually if I'm gonna do that I'm gonna fill this space in stuff so that it doesn't look as ugh, under there you know um uh, maybe we'll put these sewer grates here just because I kind of want to use them it makes sense for the garden faucet to be near some and then I guess since I've said that we'll put a little puddle thingy right here this one this is also by C on YouTube by the way so their Instagram is down below if you want to go uh check out the codes for yourselves you can do that yeah anyways yeah back to my long ass rant that for some reason will not end or er, rambling um my favorite queens from each season I don't know why I'm struggling to finish this statement Ooh, I think I'm gonna use like tarmac the keynote design that I have just because I want to. Who would I say is my favorite queen from UK season two? I think objectively, if I'm being as objective as possible, UK Drag Race UK season two is one of the best Drag Race seasons of all time. We'll not argue any further on that. I will simply just state that and move on from it. Um, Drag Race UK season two is iconic in every single fucking way. Who would I say is my favorite queen? That's a good question with Drag Race UK season two because honestly, all of them were so iconic even the early outs even the ones who didn't make it all the way to the end even the ones who were considered the villains of the season they were all great one queen I think I think I think I'm gonna have to say <laughs> I uh, I'm once again oh god I'm gonna sound so dumb for saying this because I'm choosing a winner again I just spoiled who it was it's Lawrence I really <laughs> I really liked Lawrence Lawrence Cheney I thought Lawrence Cheney was hilarious throughout the season great confessional once again served looks represented who they were as a human being again once again it was a close call for the crown once again both Lawrence and Bimini both deserve the crown I would have been happy either way whoever it went to it could have easily been another double crowning and I don't think people would have been mad yeah I really liked Lawrence I really liked Bimini I just liked the season overall I loved other queens like Ahura I loved Tace um Tace is so fucking fine out of drag that's another one god damn so gorgeous out of drag for no reason. Drag Race UK season two is really one of the best drag race seasons of all time. If you haven't seen it and you're able to go watch it, it's it's good. I'm giving them free promo. I would start off with that season, especially if you're from the UK. I think that works. This little like thing that I did um, because like that piece kind of connects to the newspaper. So it looks like the rest of the road goes underneath the newspaper. That works. I don't know what I did here, but it kind of works overall. I think I'm going to plant another flower here. I wish there was a way to stunt the growth of flowers on non or er, ooh, actually, no, let's use a grass trail because I haven't used that yet. I love this design so much. The grass trail design. It's by um, chin underscore retro on Instagram. So shout out to them. I think I'm just going to leave all this blank because I don't really know what I want to do onwards. But I think this is good enough for now. I kind of just did a thing and talked a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not mad at it. If you don't know where this is, this is where Teddy's house used to be, which used to be Bubbles house. And then Melba's house was like right over here. I moved both of those houses and I kind of turned this into a little area. I'm not mad at it overall. I really like it. It's cute. And yeah, have I finished um, giving my favorite queens? Oh, I haven't talked about Drag Race Thailand. Oh my God. Drag Race Thailand, I think is one of the most underrated seasons of Drag Race overall. Once again, if you're able to watch it, go watch it. It's so good. Um, I'm just gonna be real quick about it because like I'm basically done here. Wow, I've actually never, I don't really play on the evening time. I haven't played in the evening on this island. It's so pretty, wow, especially during the summertime. Anyways, okay, here's the beach once again. I don't know why I came back down here. Do I have anything that I can add? Cause I've been trying to like figure that out. I feel like I should add more things. Like I have a wild log bench. Maybe I can like, no, I don't know. I could put the campsite sign somewhere. Maybe like the clothesline. No, I'm, 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 this is me stalling to end the video because ending the video is always awkward. I don't know why. No, I'll just leave it here. Okay, so this is the beach. Cute, cute. Little fishing area. Lots of fishies. Little area as well. Very fun. Cute, cute. Here's Whitney sitting on a bench. Shout out to Whitney. And coming up here, we have this other area that I worked on. I did two separate thingies today because I felt like it. This as well was another area that I worked on. Cute, cute. Fun 
fun, fun. Yada yada. Here I am doing a thumbnail. Uh oh, Drag Race UK <laughs> or Drag Race Thailand. Um, who is my favorite queen on season one? I really liked Ane. Ane May Wong. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I can't remember. But also Natalia. I thought that both of them deserve the crown. They literally had like the exact same stats. So it made sense for either one of them to win. Thailand season two, Anjali. I think that is obvious. Anjali, such a fucking icon. For those who don't know, she's literally, I think she holds like the record for the most wins. She has like six wins, five of them in a row. That is iconic. I love Angela a lot. So I'm just taking thumbnails because we're basically done. I don't know if I'm even going to use this as a thumbnail, but um, it's it's here if I need to. I don't know what this video was. I guess we're done. Here's the area that I did. I kind of want to add something here. Let's put this orange. No, don't eat it. Fuck. I don't know what this video was. It was really just a lot of me talking a lot. And I am at peace with that. I actually, I, I had a lot of fun today. Yeah, let's just sit down right here. Yeah, we're at the end of the video now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If just me rambling and talking about whatever the hell I want. I asked you guys for stuff to talk about. So far on the first day of that community post, I got like 20 people with suggestions and I only went through two of them. So that community tab will be ongoing. So if you want to leave some suggestions for things to talk about, it could be a question. It can be like, maybe you want to hear my opinions on a certain topic. It could be whatever the hell you want, as long as it's appropriate. Obviously this is a YouTube channel. I get mo uh, my videos are monetized and I have to follow certain guidelines. But yeah, we're at the end of the video now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video. Also, I guess I should have said this, but um, I'm getting very close to 4,000 subscribers. If you haven't already and you want to subscribe, please. And yeah, I don't really have much else to say. So I'm just going to leave. So bye. I don't know where I was. Why did I keep talking? You're supposed to shut up after you say bye. Let me try that again. Bye. Once again, for anybody wondering, I feel like sharing this every single time I film now. Um, this was exactly an hour and a half of me running around and rambling. So who knows how long this video will be if you're still watching. Hi, how's it going? Um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh God, wow, look at the sunset. Like I said, I don't really play in the evening time anymore. So I have not seen the sunset in game in a very long time. Wow, let's go stare at that real quick. Why is the sun running away from me? That's rude, whatever. Let's just watch it from here. Ignore the mess that is the other side of that lake. Okay, bye.